Hello there, I'm Aldrahill and welcome to Europa Universalis 4. I thought we'd start a new Let's Play uh, to replace the end of our Aztec Sunset Invasion and the temporary hiatus on our Yom's Viking series. So I thought we can continue our, you know, lovely run, well, run of one, uh, hard achievements and do Jihad. And for those who do not know, Jihad means starting as Najd, 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 Najd. Let's call it Najd, and owning 500 Sunni provinces. So that's pretty damn hard, because 500 is a lot of provinces, especially when you start from a position of very small power. Like, you're surrounded, you got the Mamluks, the Ottomans, the Timurids, even Kara... God, I hate these names. Kara Koyonlu. Even that, it's just, there's so many different huge powers around you. It's very difficult. And it used to be a lot harder. It used to be that you had to own the provinces in, like, the west, this area, and this area, and this area. And so, because you had to own those provinces, you had to fight really strong powers. But now, you can go up and north, and you can go down into Africa, you can go east. Because it's just 500 provinces anywhere. Which means colonization is something you can do. So we'll definitely be doing that. So, we, I've tested it out. And I've tried it before, and it didn't go so great. But I'm going to hope that this one goes a bit better. Uh, and there's a couple of great things you can do, a couple of neat tricks that are important to know. So, let's get started. Iron Man mode, yes. Najd is selected. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Call it Jihad, because we're unoriginal. Start the Iron Man to override our previously failed attempt save. No, you're not going to save. Alright, let's try it again. Let's do it. Right, so we have to look at our starting position. Getting kind of froze there as I was loading, but that's alright. Uh, so... It's a precarious position as Najd. You're surrounded on all sides by very strong enemies. And you have some, a lot of strengths, namely your incredible missionary conversion rate, which means you're not really going to be, set, be beset with the religious rebels. The main goal, the main goal, is getting the Mamluks to love us. Okay, that's the biggest thing. And something interesting that doesn't necessarily always happen is Shama ha is friendly to me. That's pretty good for us. Because Shamo is friendly, they will be open to an alliance, and that's really good for us. So we're gonna we're gonna do that like right now. We can ally Shamo, and that gives us a lot of strength. And we're gonna improve relations with the Mamluks because Mamluks are what will keep us alive. Yemen, Hejaz are huge, big baddies, and we need to protect ourselves against them. Then obviously we're going to rival Hejaz, we're going to rival Oman, and we're going to rival Yemen. Now, what generally happens at the beginning of these games is Om Yemen will probably declare war against Oman. That's a very likely scenario. And if that does happen, we can capitalize on that like crazy. And if it doesn't happen, we can, you know, there's a, there's a few things that will play out differently. So, but our very first steps, we've done that. Next, we're going to convert Qatar. Qatar, Qatar, Qatar. We're going to turn down army maintenance all the way, and we're going to build two foot soldiers. And that's going to be our beginning. And we actually, this is big. Our mission is to form an alliance with Shamar. Very good. Always check your missions before you get carry over. So for one year, we're going to increase dip rep. Not so great because the dip rep can allow us to help, uh, ally the Mamluks. We probably won't be able to utilize it properly, but we'll still get it for free. So why not? Uh, and that is essentially our first steps. So the goals are we have to see what happens. We are not the initiators. We always play off of what the AI does. So, excuse me, I'm moving. If Yemen attacks Oman, we attack Oman. And so we need to have claims ready in the event of invasion. Our goals are to get Hassa, as well as expanding generally in this peninsula, and try and take, take out Hassa quickly when, it's, when we're able to, because we need to see who they ally first. Because, well, you'll, you'll see why. You'll see why. It's very important to get them. So there we go. We've done that. We formed an alliance. And, no, that's it. So that's the only mission. The other mission is to save the Bedouin people in Kuesam. So that'll be great because it'll give us a free core on Oman. Any other allies yet? No, none yet. Okay, Yemen is allied with Wasalungalal. No alliances yet. Okay, 
it's usually Oman will not get any allies because they are, uh, you know, they're the wrong religion. They're Ibadi, which is a heresy. Uh, Hejaz hasn't allied anyone either. It's possible that because we've allied Shamar, no one else wants to ally Shamar because we are different. Hormoz is another rogue factor. Generally, they'll probably ally with Yemen and attack Oman together. But they seem to be receptive towards me, so... I'm going to avoid a raw marriage of Shema because I would like the ability to break the alliance and declare war on them when I want. Yeah, there we go. Yemen's now allied with Hormaz, so it doesn't mean we're going to have to contend with the Hormaz forces as well. And Hejaz has allied with Hassa, which is, again, actually a really good for us. So what we can do is we have to see who makes the first move. Uh, first of all... How far off Amaluks are allying us? 18. So they're probably not going to get it before our dip rep runs out. But what we'll do is we will fabricate a claim on Nizwa. Because we'll get a free claim on Quetzal. And because they, uh, the Yemenis have made an alliance with Hormuz, that generally is indicative that they are planning to attack Oman. I mean, generally. Not always. Hassa could plot against us. But because we have Shamar at our backs, we will beat them. In an even fight. Oh, also we should be. I should have done this. We should establish the Sheikhul Islam office, giving us extra missionary strength, making this will be a lot faster to convert. It's gonna be like a year. Okay, now we just wait. We just sit and we wait. Our relationship will be improved with Mamluks, and maybe we can get an alliance with them. Because once you get an alliance with the Mamluks, that's when strength happens. The big problem could be. If the Mamluks ally Hejaz, Hejaz could be seeking to try and, like, they're improving relations. Oh, they're not actually improving relations with them. That's interesting. So that could mean they won't ally. And because uh, Hassan is allied with Hejaz, Karash would probably not declare on Heza, Hejaz. But if it, they do, we're going to want to try and really quickly grab the territories. It's very important to ensure that we get Hassa. We need it. And you'll see why. But in the first years, couple of years, there's not really a lot that happens. Da, 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 da. The standard stuff that occurs in Europe, but no one really cares about. Uh, another thing, actually, is we should really embargo our rivals. I just realized that. And there's no chance we're going to get that in time. Uh, let's do that. This will give us just a little bit extra money. Yet yeah, Yemen, Yemen has now allied two other two African powers. And thankfully, Oman has allies done allied no one because no one likes Oman. Literally, no one. See, this, the, this little power projection really does help because it just increases your morale a tiny bit. It'll increase the money you get a tiny bit. It just makes you a little bit better. So we have our 9,000 troops. We can only have a force limit of 10, so until we get more province, we're going to stick with 9. So if what I want to happen happens, Yemen will declare war on Oman. Uh, Horjaz will move our army down. Yemen will, Oman will crush the army, and we'll have our army in Qasem well, to attack and wipe them off the floor with them and stack them, and then we can take four provinces very quickly, because this is a fort. We can't get past here without taking that. So Yemenis will take these two and probably leave that one because they don't want to annex them for some reason because they're pansies. But that would give us four provinces and Muscat. I think the best province in the peninsula. I think it is. It's got 10 development. This None of these have... Uh, uh, there it is. Maka is the best. But it's the best on this side of the peninsula. So that's what's important. Alright. It's all about seeing what we can do here. We have to be playing... You know... Look, look. See, look at that. Haas has been warned by Kara, but they won't... So they won't declare war or anything. Because of the alliance between Yemen and Hormoz, I'm leaning towards Oman's going to be attacked. Oh, and the Timurids have declared war. So I will be fabricating a claim on Muscat next, because it'll cost them just a core. Yeah, it costs 100, so I want to reduce that. And that's an alliance offer from Adal. 
Now, a DAO does look like a good ally, and I think certain people might ally with them. Because then in case you get against Yemen, they could fight. But the thing is, is that Yemen's fleet is a lot stronger than uh, thingies. They have two heavy ships, whereas a DAO just has five light ships. So in a naval battle, a DAO's AI would, would think, would say, hey, we don't have combat ships, we should retreat. So they'll never be able to send forces. So they'll be a useless ally. I think, anyway. And that's Belukistan sending another alliance offer. But again, I don't want to take up uh, Belukistan at all. Because they're not a good ally. Because they're not going to be able to get there. And they're probably going to get attacked by the Timurias eventually. Alright, take another. Ah, see. We can get a royal marriage with Shamar. That could be good. We'll wait until we're really close to the Mamluks alliance before we do that. So we'll just keep fabricating a claim, and we'll do it on Muscat next this time. Got to be, you have to be slow. You have to be careful in this, because there's a lot of risk of just completely failing and dying. You know, you got to be safe. Oh, we converted one, and now we'll convert another. You know, I feel lucky. Let's try and make our general, see what happens. We could do the royal marriage with Shamar. We want to save that mission for when it's useful, I just realized. Because we need to do it when, in the, when it's like minus five or minus four for the Mamluks for alliance. Because then... I closed. Uh, then it'll be uh, more likely to get the alliance. Okay, let's do it. I feel lucky. We're doing that. Let's make a general. The air. Oh, he's a 1 3. Uh, that's King. 1 3. The air. He's a 1 0. I'm fine with 1 3, but I'm tempted to try the military power. I get. It's 10. It, it slows me down by 10 months, but honestly, I want to do it. So, bam. Oh, 1 4. Done. Much better. Now, we want to kill our air because our king is uh, 66. And he's okay, and the air is 47, and he's kind of crap. He's a 2-2-2, two, 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 which, you know, is, is below average. So if the air can die, that'd be great. Alright. Just keep doing what we're doing. We're making a little bit of money. Our manpower is growing. I think we're doing okay. I think we are on, we're on track, I think. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie, but I think we've got this. I'm comfortable with the direction this is going. We just need to see who's the first declarer of war. I'm keeping my my, 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 my airdrop options open, because if Yem declares war on Oman, I want to quickly declare and get the mission for Quesam. Because that's very important. But I'd like to get the alliance with the Mamluks first. And that extra dip rep from the marriage would really help. Da, 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 da. This is going pretty well. We got this. We got this. We're making a little bit of money. Also very important to notice the border provinces of your local allies. Because if Hejaz were to move their troops to Turba, for example, I would begin to fear they're about to attack me. I think it'd be a stupid idea, but I would still fear it, you know? Whereas if they move to Asir, it's probably going to go into Yemen. Alright, let's do this royal marriage. In two months. See if it could, Once it goes down to minus three, then we'll do it. Because I'm not sure how many relation-wise it's going to give. How many points it'll give? One more, one more, one more. Come on, baby. I believe in you. We don't want to do too fast because the, 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 dip, the dip rep bonus only counts for a year. Okay. Just 
check. Dynastic, royal marriage. We should actually, we should really be fabricating claims. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know why we're not using this guy to fabricate every claim possible. Done, done. Alliance. Almost there. I just realized they were royal marriage, yes. Yes. Done. Can stop from putting relation. Because... That's an alliance offer from the Mamluks. Mmm. That's good. I'm just going to panic save in case the game crashes and it forgets it. I don't even care. That's excellent for us. Okay. We have short up alliances. We're actually really strong right now. And so we're going to just quickly fabricate some claims uh, on just a bunch of people. We're going to do it on the capital of Hassa of Katov. And we're going to do it on Oman uh, Suhur. We don't really care about Adal's opinion of us. I really don't. So now it's just going to be the mission to take the province of Oman. But we don't want to do that unless we have to. you know, Because we, again, we are waiting to see what everyone else does. That's what's always important. React. You need to be reactionary. It all depends on what happens. Hejaz could declare on Yemen. I think they won't, but they could. Yemen could declare on Oman, in which case we could dogpile onto them and extremely expand. Ah, oh, man, the king died. That was not... Not ideal. That's okay. King's quite old. Air is quite bad. I'm probably going to try and kill the air. Can't make can't kill the air yet. That's all right. Don't want the king dying. And we don't want to be in minus one stability, because minus one gives us increased unrest... Uh, and it's going to give us less legitimacy over time. We need legitimacy. Whew. Okay, just got to see what happens. We actually have been able to save up a lot of money. Oh, look at that. Royal marriage from Mamluks. It's kind of how we can get the same dynasty. That's Mamluks. Maybe we can try and get the same dynasty as the Ottomans. Who knows? Uh, and look at that. They're attacking Byzantium. Of course they are. Uh... Okay. Fabricating claims, we're doing okay. We actually have quite a lot of money, so I think I'm going to make another troop. And I, you can't... The problem is, I really want a bit of cavalry, but we cannot afford it. It's just too expensive, because at full maintenance, it's 55. And it'd be another 55. And that'd be too much. Yeah, it'd be way too much. So we'll stick to the foot soldier for now. And when we get some more, maybe we'll expand better. It's just too expensive. Oh, this is a stalemate, isn't it? Wow. Look at this. Everyone's too afraid to declare war. This is cowardly. Hejaz is now allied Hassa and Hormoz. That's bad. That is bad. That means that Hormoz is going to be able to very... Like, if we attack Hejaz, or rather Hassa, that's okay, because we can just attack Hassa and not call them in as equal allies. Come on, Yemen, do your stuff. Hurry up. Oh, I just realized the missionary strength is not the same. Oh. How come I can't make the mission? Ooh, extra f uh, power, look at that. But I don't want to take gain inflation. God, the ruler doesn't have enough admin skill. That just sucks. Alright, we had a good start. It's been a very boring time. We haven't really done anything yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Everything's going alright. So, we've we've shored up our alliances with Shamar and Mamluks, and we're very prepared and defensive. We've got 10,000 soldiers ready. I'm waiting for the declaration of war. Once it happens, it'll go alright. Alright. We'll continue this next episode. So, wait, there is their, why is their dynasty member different? That's a different dynasty. That's worrying to me. I don't know why, but that's just frightening. I don't like the idea of them having... Yeah, okay, they have... No, they're their own. Whatever. We'll figure it out. All right, so, I was Al Drew and I continue to be, and this has been Europa Universalis 4 Jihad. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.